This is biochar. It's great for improving your soil fertility, water retention, and nutrient holding capacity. Let me show you how to make it. To make biochar, you first need to collect your organic material, which would be firewood. You can use smaller logs or bigger logs. Your smaller logs do burn quicker and go to ash quicker. With biochar, we're trying to get the wood to burn to a charcoal rather than burning to ashes. But if some of the wood does burn to ashes, we'll just add that to the garden as an amendment. It's essential that it doesn't get too much air or everything will start going to ashes. So I'm gonna add some rocks to try to hold that air down, make it a lot hotter and suffocate the fire. The fire is burning hotter and burning more on the inside. It should start to char up without turning to too many ashes and still hold its shape. All right, so now that the fire is burning steady, I'm gonna start our fertilizer basically going to spray down this fire pit with the fertilizer so that the biochar already has nutrients in it and has beneficial bacteria and stuff like that so that when we add it to the garden it's already thriving for the fertilizer that I'm going to be spraying on the biochar, I have own complete humic acid and the fermented plant juice that we made the other day, a spray bottle with water in it. So first going to add some of that fermented plant juice, just a little bit, then a little bit of humic acid. It's a powder, you don't need a lot at all. And then the own complete. The own is essentially a mix of herbal extracts. There's ginger, garlic, turmeric, cinnamon, angelica, and licorice extracts in here. But I'll talk about own in another video because it is very extensive. So now that the biochar is about done burning, I'm going to remove the rocks. Now you can see the biochar down here is still hot. So I'm just going to put out the coals with this fertilizer. And what this is doing is putting that fertilizer right into the biochar. That own FPJ and humic acid. And now we have finished biochar. You can grind this up into a powder or you can leave it as it is and add it as a garden amendment. It's gonna be a great addition to your garden and it'll be around for a long time.